I am about to make cheeseburger fried rice and take a shot of tequila. Mm, let's go. I'm Kara. I'm a butcher, a cook, and I'm also really good at cooking myself out of a hangover. I'm not a doctor, but I can cure a hangover with food. So I'm helping people too hungover to help themselves by cooking them the most insane restorative feasts. We made you avocado toast on a leftover pizza. Oh, are you serious right now? It's fried, it's carbs, it's cheese, it's savory and sweet. It's the food you want to eat when you feel like complete trash. No one ever takes care of me when I'm hungover. This is the craziest show ever. <laughs> I'm just gonna lie down. Yeah, first. lay down. Bring your appetite and unfortunately your hangover. I'm gonna cook so much food. This is The Hangover Show, where all of your hangover dreams will come true. <laughs> These eye holes are really small. <laughs> Hi. On today's hangover, we have Ricky from Dinner Table, a speakeasy style restaurant in the East Village serving up Japanese inspired food. He went out really hard last night with some of his coworkers, and he's not feeling so good today. It's been better. You're not feeling so good? Physically very drained. Okay. Like, and, and yesterday was our only day off in like three weeks and oh. for the entire staff. So we went we went pretty hard. So are you into fried things? Well, yeah, I'm Puerto Rican, so half of our diet is basically <laughs> just fried food. How do you feel about like a bodega bacon, egg, and cheese? I think it's like the quintessential New York sandwich. I think so too. Uh, do you ever do any hair of the dog? Yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Perfect. Is there anything else you do aside from food to make yourself feel better when you're hungover? I actually take a really, really hot shower. Perfect. Drink a really, really cold coffee. All right, so I'm gonna go prep some stuff for you and I'll Perfect. see you in a couple of hours and I'm gonna make you feel a lot better. Perfect. <laughs> okay, see you soon. <laughs> We're gonna do some things to make them feel better. He really likes a super cold coffee, maybe like some sort of smoothie or milkshake. Maybe like some fries and some protein, like a big steak. And I'm thinking I'm gonna go the bodega route and do some kind of riff on a bacon, egg, and cheese, combine it with something fried. I think I've got it. I think I've got a menu in mind for him. Listen, I'm a human, I've had hangovers, we've all had hangovers, and I think I know what to do to make these people feel better. Someone walks in this room, I want them to feel calm, like they're getting a warm hug. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Kara. Johnny, nice to meet Jackie. you. Jackie. Jackie, I'm Kara. Hello, Hi. Everybody. It's a friendly me too. Oh God, how are you guys feeling? Pretty bad. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I can come feel in. my kidneys throbbing. Yeah, we're gonna help you. Tray of snacks, we've got gum. I always want gum when I'm hungover. I wanna chew on something fresh and minty. Just oh. remind you that you're alive. Some pain relievers, some antacids, some lavender spray. Good smells. I'm very smell sensitive when I'm hungover. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really We've got an ice roller for your face. We've got some face masks, some spa water, some head <laughs> massagers, some cold towels. Okay, so it's iced coffee smoothie. Oh, I mean, I'm saying smoothie because it sounds more healthful, but this is a milkshake. <laughs> There's a lot of espresso in it. Yeah, this is delicious. Oh my God, this is so good. We also have malt liquor and fresh orange juice. <laughs> this is great. Whoa. And some taco seasoning limes. Beautiful. Taco seasoning, huh? Salt is really important when you're hungover because your electrolytes are depleted and salt helps you rehydrate. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> crazy straws. Thank you. <laughs> it's so crazy. While you guys are drinking those, I'm going to go in and get your appetizers. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so relaxing. 
Since we never do stuff like this. Ricky told me that one of his favorite hangover foods is a bodega bacon and cheese, which is a New York City hangover staple. So I'm gonna switch things up a little and combine two of my favorite hangover foods, which is like fried Chinese food and a bacon, egg, and cheese from the bodega. And we're gonna make a bacon, egg, and cheese wonton. We've got our crisp bacon right here, scrambled eggs, and some shredded cheddar cheese and some wonton wrappers. And I'm going to chop the bacon up a little bit finer and then mix everything together and spoon it into the wonton wrappers. So you get a little bit of everything in each bite. Okay, so I'm just filling it with like this is probably like a teaspoon. You don't want to overfill it because then it won't close. And the wonton wrappers are really easy. You just get a little bowl of water and dip your fingers in. The water will seal it when you press it together. So you want to make sure it doesn't open up when it's in the oil. Pretty hot fry oil, and we'll just do like a little shallow fry on them. The oil was probably like 425. They cook really fast, literally like 10 seconds each side. Here are the finished wontons, a little batch of them. So now we're going to make a dipping sauce for them, which is gonna be really simple. What you put on the bodega, bacon, egg, and cheese, ketchup, hot sauce, salt, and pepper. Okay, let's give one a try. That's really fucking good. <laughs> it's really good. It tastes like a bacon, egg, and cheese, but there's another layer to it <laughs> because it's fried. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Bacon, egg, and cheese wontons. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so much. Love it. Get in there. Love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. What? Oh, I'm hungry. Look at that. Starving. Mm. Mm. These are really good. True hangover fashion, why don't we all review some footage from last night? So the night started at the Garrett East, where we work. This is the first round of shots. Yeah, that's when all our friends start pouring in. So this is Jackie making the five logo. OK, so what's going in? Um, everything. Everything. <laughs> and then Red Bull. It was really tasty. Oh. <laughs> You're not enjoying it there. It tastes horrid. And then the fa my favorite video of the night, Jackie, as you can see, had a rotten attitude, <laughs> but in the sweetest manner. <laughs> so number one rule of hangovers is hydration. When I'm hungover, the first thing I go for is a Gatorade. We have a fountain of electrolyte sport drink. Sport drink. And I'm going to prepare you something else that hopefully is gonna really like take you over the edge. I'm gonna get in on that uh, you want a sports drink. <laughs> uh, electrolyte. Cheers. Cheers, fellas. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I feel way better already. Yeah. Like emotionally. Wow, this feels really good too. This feels amazing. You should try this Ricky, actually. Ooh. This is awesome. The dinner table crew is sipping on their 40s, and I am going to now assemble their steak and egg disco fries. So we have french fries that I made this morning and just gave them their final crisp up. Got a homemade cheese sauce, homemade gravy, a beautiful dry-aged grass-fed ribeye. We're just gonna layer it all together. So I'm gonna take the steak out right now. I gave it a good hard sear, like four minutes each side, and then put it in a 500 degree oven for like seven minutes. Look at my beautiful kitchen, it's so organized. We have our steak resting. I wanna fry some eggs in some of this beef fat. You want me to help you out with that? Yes, if you could fry the eggs, it would be amazing. Hey, I have one day off a week, and that day is solely reserved to dining out. I do not cook on my day off, no, not at all. And I'm gonna start layering gravy and cheese sauce on your fries. This is an entire pot <laughs> of cheese sauce. The cheese sauce has Gruyere and shredded cheddar, like a pound of each. So it's a lot. That looks so good. <sighs> it's, it's something <laughs> so fatty. There's a lot of fat. All right, we've got steak. And then you go ahead and stick your eggs on wherever you want. It's like a, like a mountain. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly what we were going it's barely plating at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it looks amazing. 
So I'm just putting some, like a chimichurri on here, shallots, red wine vinegar, cilantro, parsley. These are some beet pickled red onions for more acidity, more sweetness, and some color. This is amazing. This looks awesome. All right, sprinkle those on. All right, we're ready to go. You guys are not gonna believe what's gonna come out. It's ridiculous. We're getting a whole roasted pig? Fucking insane. No, it's way better. Oh. It's like perfect. I, I saw it and my heart like skipped a beat. I went like, oh. All right, guys, we've got steak and egg disco fries. Jersey Diner classic. Yes, I think it's gonna you. make you thank feel you, a lot so better. Much. This is really delicious. Amazing, I'm in heaven. This is awesome, thank you so much. You're so welcome. So what's up with the steak? It's a Wangus, which is a Wagyu Angus cross. <laughs> it's been dry aged for 50 days. Oh, it's just funky, but it's not that funky, but it's really delicious. Way better than a BLT. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm already at 100%. Wow. This was effective. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I need some more steak. So. What a delicious morsel. <laughs> How's everyone feeling? Are you feeling better than you did this morning? I feel amazing. I'm good. I'm at a solid. I'm solid. at like a 90. Yeah. I'm wow. A nice 90%. Yeah. yeah. Let's wind the stay down and go into a relaxation tent. Let's do it. Digest. Oh, look at the stars. Oh, oh yeah. I'm so full of, of all that poutine. <laughs> oh, Johnny. Oh. oh, God. Ew, you guys smell bad. Ricky and his crew were in really rough shape. They finished off their day here in the relaxation tent with, you know, some scented oils and a fur pillow, just soaking in each other's company. This takes our relationship to the next level, guys. I mean, it's the first time we've ever taken a nap together. And they needed a good day of rest. And I think we provided them with both. Goodbye, hangover. <laughs>